everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Ella. We're with the Winkle, and today we're making a, a sparkling, sparkling firework. firework. Ella, I'm so excited for this project today because we are using chemistry to make something so fun and beautiful and creative, and you're gonna love it. Okay. Okay, do you wanna see what's in our kit today? Yeah. Okay. A paper plate, a pipette, glitter, confetti, pop rocks and baking soda, Kool-Aid, and some clay. Ooh, this looks like it might be tasty, but we never ever wanna put anything from the Winkle in your mouth, okay? Just get used to that when we're doing science projects, unless we're talking about food science, yeah. we <laughs> never put the stuff in our mouth, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On top of everything in your kit today, you'll need a cup of water, you might want some paper towel for later, and you might wanna use your pencil to draw our shape first. And once you have all that, we're ready to get started. Woo! Okay, Ella, we have a packet of Kool-Aid here, right? Some kids might be tempted to see this Kool-Aid and just think they're gonna eat it, but it's actually disgusting because in this packet is just citric acid. There's no sugar in here at all, which is actually great news for us because citric acid is actually a reacting agent. So it reacts with the baking soda that's in here. The baking soda is a base. So there's pop rocks in here with the baking soda. Have you ever put pop rocks on your tongue before? Yes. What happens? They pop. <laughs> they pop. It's like boop, boop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that is actually because there's gas in, in the pop rocks. It's like little pockets of pressurized gas called carbon dioxide. Isn't that so cool? Yeah. So our project today is not only gonna be glittery and festive with the confetti, and not only is it going to make a chemical reaction that's going to like bubble, but it's also gonna have another chemical reaction with the Pop Rocks that's going to actually sound like it's popping, like a firework. That's cool. I know, I'm so excited. This is gonna be the best project. Okay, let's get our plates and our pencil. Okay. Okay, do you see this little bit of clay that we have? Yes. We're gonna make a shape with it because the shape is going to be a perimeter. Do you remember what perimeter means? Uh, no. It means the outside shape. You can make it any shape you want. I'm gonna make a star shape because I want mine to be like more 4th mm -hmm. of July star like that. But you can make like just a circle, you could make a crescent moon or a flower or anything like that. But it needs to be a shape that's enclosed, an enclosed shape, okay? So do you know what I mean by that? I'll show you. So like my star is going to be like a star. But if I just did that, it wouldn't be enclosed. There'd be like all this space that opens up. Oh. So I'm gonna do an enclosed star. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not gonna look perfect at all once you have the clay on there. It's gonna be kind of wonky, but that's okay. So I'm gonna have this star shape. That's gonna be my plan anyway, to have this star shape. You want it about that size or else you, if you make it bigger, you probably won't have enough clay. If you make it smaller, you're not gonna be able to really see the reaction very well. So you want it about this star size, maybe even a little bit bigger. And you know what, Ella? I'm just gonna trace that star so people can see it better. You wanna make the shape as basic as possible. So like a circle would be the most basic shape, but you could also do like a square or a triangle or something like that. But you don't want too many details or angles or it's gonna to be too hard to do. If at any time in this Winkle video we get going too fast, you can always pause the video and press play when you're all caught up. Also, if you missed any instructions or you didn't quite understand something, you can always rewind the video and press play again. Okay, so Ella has a diamond right here and I think it's kind of small. So I think we're gonna make it a little bigger. What do you think, Ella? Yeah. Like we, if we made it just a little bit bigger, like that. I think a diamond is a really good idea because it's going to be like sparkling, especially since you have silver glitter, your diamond will be sparkling like silver glitter. You can let the color of your glitter and of your clay kind of inspire you to be to what shape you want to do. And if you mess up on the paper plate, don't worry about erasing or anything. Just draw over it to get the shape that you want. That is great. I think a, a diamond is such a great shape for this project, actually. I don't know why I didn't think about that. <laughs> All right, you're gonna get your clay. Good. And with this clay, it's kind of hard to get out, so I just tear the whole package open. <laughs> do you know how to make snakes? Yes. Remember with Play-Doh, we would always make snakes out of Play-Doh? Yes. So that's kind of what we're gonna do today. So I just tore my clay into two pieces and I'm just gonna make a snake 
It's a little easier if you tear it into two pieces. So it's a little easier to manage. I'm gonna make a snake and mine has to be, since I have so many angles to that star, mine has to be pretty thin. Yeah, press down really firm on that clay, Ella. Good job. Mine has to be pretty thin because see how many lines the star has? And then I'm just gonna press nice and firmly on my paper plate because I don't want my chemical reaction to go underneath the clay. So I wanna press nice and firm. And I'm gonna roll out some more clay. Good, put that on the diamond. Okay, so I'm putting my other piece in. So I'm squeezing those two pieces together and then pressing my clay down firmly onto the paper plate. Oh, look at that. I don't have quite enough clay, so I'm gonna pick it up, make it a little bit longer. Let's see if I have enough clay now. Well, it's the same amount of clay. It's just, I rolled it out some more. Oh yeah, oh, perfect. And then see those places where it matches up again? I'm gonna squeeze that together so it's an enclosed shape. Press it down. Good. Did you really squeeze it together where that clay met up with each other? Yep. Good job. Okay. I extra clay. Yeah. You do. You have a little extra bump mm -hmm. right there. That's just fine. Okay. This next part is all about the layers. Okay. So we have a lot of ingredients here, right? So we're just going to sprinkle a little bit of it at a time and then you'll have enough for four fireworks. Okay. So if you just sprinkle a little bit of it, a little bit of this, a little bit of that and that, then we'll do the reaction. And then after the reaction's done, we can kind of wipe it out with our paper towel and then we can do another one. Yay. And we can do that four times. That's cool. Okay? Yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay, so this Pop Rocks thing, kind of shake it up just a little bit. It's the baking soda and the Pop Rocks. And remember the baking soda is a base and we need a base in chemistry to react with our reacting agent, which is, do you remember what it is? Um, it's the Kool-Aid. Yeah, good job, the citric acid that's in the Kool-Aid. Okay, so see how I just sprinkled a little bit of the baking soda and the Pop Rocks in here? Yeah, just a little bit, you don't need the whole thing. That's pretty good. If you just give it a little shake like that, it'll fill in the whole area. So this is actually a mini, mini math lesson is that this is the perimeter, okay? And then this, all this stuff that's in here is the area, okay? That's a pretty good math lesson, right? Just a mm -hmm. short one. <laughs> I'm always trying to sneak in a little math. All right, we're gonna open our Kool-Aid packet, just the corner of it. Yeah. Open it up, it's gonna smell good, it's gonna smell like you wanna eat it, but trust me, mm. you don't wanna eat it. It's gonna be sour and gross. Okay, sprinkle a little bit of it into your shape. Sour. Set that aside. Good, you can kind of settle it down. And then we're gonna add some confetti. The confetti doesn't do anything besides just make it fun and festive. And then the glitter, just tear off the very teeniest, tiniest corner of the glitter because you do not want this to go around your house or on your clothes. What do we know about glitter? It's really messy, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're just sprinkling a little bit of it and this is just for decoration. It doesn't have anything to do with the chemical experiment, but it's still so fun. Just okay. carefully set all your stuff aside in a safe place. Kind of jiggle your shape a little bit so that everything is set in there. Very good. Oh, that's gonna be awesome. Okay, Ella, are you ready for the chemical reaction? Yes. Our sparkling firework. Okay, so you're going to squeeze the top of your pipette and then put it in the water. Pipettes are so cool because when you do that, all the water comes up. Cool. Ready? And then you can just keep adding water until it all sparkles out. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. <gasps> oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Look at that. I love it. Do you hear it? Mm -hmm. Can you also smell it? Oh, it smells good. Oh, wow. Okay, so it smells good. Yes. It sounds like a firework, and it's sparkling, and it's fizzing. It's awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome. I love it. 
Oh, mine's kind of overflowing. Mine do. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, Ella, the reason we have the paper towel is if you want to clean it out, keep your clay on the plate, okay. but you can clean it out, and then you can do this project, like I said, three or four more times, okay? And then you just do the same thing. Remember all the ingredients, the baking soda and Pop Rocks, the Kool-Aid, the glitter, and the confetti, and then you'll be able to do this firework again and again. Yeah! Did you guys like this video today? If you did, please press like and subscribe. That way, every time we come out with a new Winkle video, you'll be the first to know. Also, check out down below for freebies and thewinkle.com. Ella, I would love to see how all our friends at home did on this sparkling firework project. If you have a grown up, take a picture or video of you with your sparkling firework, have them post it on social media, and tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what everybody made and how it turned out. Yeah! Ella, thanks for joining me today. You were such a good helper with this chemistry project. What do we think about chemistry? It's awesome! It's awesome! Yes, it's so fun! Okay. See you next time, everybody. Bye. Bye.